trying to thank God. I wanted to, to speak on having a healthy church. Or the other thing I wanted to talk about, loving God and loving people. Those are the two topics that I was trying to figure out which, which topic that I'm gonna speak about. But when I read this verse, it reminded me again of how important it is for us to be very careful and be thankful for what God has done to us. Amen? Because when we start complaining, I'll tell you one thing, because look what they did. They complained to the landowner. Why are you paying them equal? They just show up and we have been here since the morning and dealing with the heat and you pay them the same <laughs> way as you paid us. In other words, you make them equal to us. Listen, in the, king, in the kingdom of God, we are all the same. Yeah. No matter how much you have done, no matter how much I travel all over the country, you and I are all equal to him. We are his children and the landowner can make whatever decision he wanted to pay me. He can make whatever decision he wanted to do with me. He is in control. The reason why we are so unhappy, the reason why we are so frustrated, because many times we spend so much time comparing ourselves with others. We can even compare ourselves with whom we sent him, whom we sent next to right. our Christian brothers, our sisters in Christ. That is so unhealthy. Yeah. It's unhealthy. It's unhealthy when you try to tell God, I don't like the way you do things. I don't let I don't like the way you deal with um Anna. I don't like I don't like the way you bless Audrey more than me. Or you bless Ricky more than me. Ricky just preached last week. Was it last week, Ricky? <laughs> yeah. Or oh, somebody just show up. Oh, why is I'll tell you an uh, 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 example. Uh, when I was uh, in Maui, I did a women's Bible study every Tuesday morning. And what I did, I gathered all these ladies to uh, come to my women's Bible study. And then once a month, we go to the leadership meeting. And then I remember this lady uh, that she had been so involved that I invited her to come and join our uh, ladies' uh, women's Bible study. She, uh, she came and she so involved and then her husband came. So both of them involved so much in our church. So in once a month, like I, what I said, once a month we have a leadership meeting with Pastor Morocco. So, and there is another lady that is about me who is running all the women's ministry. So when we were in a meeting, so the lady that is above me, she assigned one of the ladies, this lady that I have invited to come and I have been, uh, ministering to her and it was just a blessing because now her husband come they are so on fire for the lord so the leader above me made that woman that just attended in our bible study as the leader of our section okay because they divided up maui to different section or different uh, town uh so let me tell you what to be honest with you guys in my mind, in my emotion, you just show up. I invited you into my Bible study. Now you are above me. Now you are the leader of my section. Let me tell you what, the anger, the jealousy start working in my emotion. But I catch it right away. I'm happy. Thank you, Jesus, that you have chose me to be an instrument, to witness to her, to brought her into your kingdom. I should be delighted that now her husband is coming to church. I should be delighted that, the, that the, uh, my leader saw a 
saw something, saw a gift in her. That should be, that's being healthy. When we are so happy that people that we invited to church passed us, let the owner do whatever he wants to do. I found out that my friend, they own a huge business in Maui. No wonder my friend was, was letting her to be, to be the leader of our section. You know why? Not because they own a business, but because they have a lot of influence in town. They have a lot of influence more than me. And putting them being the leader, so that way they can reach out to their co-workers. They are city, they are sec I mean that section of that island, they know who they are. Can I be happy that they pass me? Can I be delighted that God have raised them up and blessed them and prospered them? That means there's more souls coming into the kingdom. Amen. I just want to encourage you. We need to be healthy in our mind, in our emotion. Stop questioning what God is doing. I tell you what, that's one of the most difficult things. Listen to what the landowner said. And he said, they said, you make them equal to us? In other words, they think that those people are lesser than them because they just show up at church. They think they don't know anything. You make them equal to us. In other words, they make them higher. <laughs> they make them, they make them, you, you should put us first. We have been here longer. It reminded me of the story about the two sons. Remember the story about the two sons? Uh, one is the prodigal and one is the son have been working in a vineyard for how many years longer? But then the younger son took off, went party. Use the money, use the father's money, wasted it. But when he when he came back, the older son got so angry, got so mad, got so upset. But listen to what, what the owner said. But he answered one of them, I'm not being unfair to you, friend. Didn't you agree to work for a dinner for a dinner? Take your pay and go. I want to give. The one who was hired last, the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? Wow. Wow. He said, take your pay and go. Take your pay and go. Listen, I don't want Jesus to tell me, Meliana, you are done with traveling. The way you treat people, the way you get angry, the way you, you, you are not thankful, you are not grateful that I have blessed others, you are not grateful where you live, you are not grateful that I have gave you the best. You are, I mean, that's one of our problems. We are not grateful. We are not thankful. I woke up this morning, first thing, God, thank you that you healed me. Jesus, thank you that I'm healthy. Jesus, thank you I'm working in your vineyard. Jesus, thank you I'm in Tucson. Jesus.